Hi, today I'm going to show you how to insert dimensions in a floor plan using AutoCAD. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert dimensions in a floor plan. Before we begin, under layer properties, at the top, select dimensions layer, and then let's open dimension style manager by typing dim style, and this will pop up. That's the first method. The second method is by clicking on annotate and then click on this part and the dimension style manager will be opened. Let's open a new style for our dimension. Click on new and the new dimension style will be created. Let's name it to new and then click on continue. We are going to begin by entering lines settings and for the dimension lines, the color we are going to choose by layer, the line type by layer, and the line weight by layer. Under this, type 100 millimeters, and the other one 100 millimeters. You can suppress dimension lines by checking this box, and you'll notice there is a change in our preview. But for now, we are going to leave them unchecked. For the extension line, select color by layer, the line type one by layer, and for the line type two, select by layer. You can also suppress these lines by checking this box. Now for this other part, type 100 millimeters, and for the other one, type 100 millimeters. The fixed length extension lines, check that box, and the length type 100 millimeters. Now let's enter settings for samples and arrows. Select oblique. And for the second one, select oblique two. On this one, select that. The arrow size is going to be 100 millimeters. And enter and select settings as shown on the screen. Now let's enter settings for text of our dimensions. For the text style, select standard. The text color, select by layer. The fill color, select none. The text height will be 200. 200 millimeters and the text placement can be changed that's above when you click outside and when you click below you'll notice in our preview there will be changes but for now select centered Select for 
the view direction select left to right and then click on the text alignment will be aligned with dimension line for these settings select the options as shown on the screen select that this select that and this one select this option now for the primary units unit format select decimal precision will be zero and then angular dimension select decimal degrees and for this enter the settings as shown on the screen and then click ok and click close now let's insert our dimension at the top click on dimension click on this point and click on this point drag your mouse and click there now let's click on continue and as you drag your mouse you'll notice our dimension line is going to continue now click on this point click on this this other point of the door then let's click on this point of our window and this one and then here and enter and that's the first dimension line now let's insert another dimension click here and here then drag your mouse and click on this point then click on continue and select these points and select these other points and enter now let's enter dimensions for these points and that's how you insert dimensions in a floor plan.